Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So just around the corner, we got a new Fracture event, which is called Fracture Firewall. And of course, this is all about the Chimera Core. And so with a new Fracture comes a new event pass. So let's go ahead and take a look at the event pass that has been leaked by Delta Index. So shout out to them. Anyways, let's go ahead and break down the pass. So at the first tier, we got some kind of backdrop, which is called Kindle Probe. On the second tier, we got an armor emblem. Moving on to the third tier, we got a warthog coating, which is called burnt chrome. And on to the fourth tier, we got the same coating, except this time it seems to be an armor coating. And on the fifth tier, we get our first helmet, which is called Marrow. Moving along to the sixth tier, we got another armor emblem. Well, this one's a vehicle emblem. And on to the seventh tier, we got the Mongoose Burnt Chrome Skin. And on to the eighth tier, we got it for the Hydra this time. For the ninth tier, we got Violent Darkness, which seems to be some kind of purple visor. And on the tenth tier, it seems like we get our first look at some uh, knee pads here. And on the eleventh tier, we got another emblem, except this time for your weapon. On to the 12th tier, we got the Warthog, or rather Rocket Hog, vehicle coating here. And moving along onto the 13th tier, we got some kind of armor coating called Bootstrap Burn. Got a little bit of orange, some white and blue to it. And onto the 14th tier, we got our first shoulder pad. And of course, on the 15th, we got the other shoulder pad. And onto the 16th tier, we got another emblem, the same emblem, except this time it seems to be on your, uh, on your, on your armor, I think. I don't know what that means, but not sure what that symbol is, but I'm pretty sure it's for your armor or something. And onto the 17th tier, we got the same coating, the burnt chrome, except this time we got it on the wasp. And on to the 18th tier, we got a stance called the set breakpoint. He's holding like a disruptor. Looks pretty nice. On to the 19th tier, we got a wrist attachment here. And finally, the final tier, which is the 20th one, we got a chest piece. And that about wraps up the event pass. Anyways, there's a really cool thing about this core where if you equip some of these attachments, or rather, sorry, armor pieces, they actually turn into the color of the visor you're currently wearing. So if you're wearing like a red visor, then your your armor piece is kind of like glow red or green, whatever. Uh, it's pretty cool. Your visor pretty much just controls the color of your armor attachments as well, which is really nice. Really cool. It actually hyped me up for a second because when I first launched season three, that's that's like the first core I checked out and I saw that happen and I was like, oh, does, does that mean all the armor pieces have like some kind of color to it now? But oh boy, was I wrong, but it's still cool seeing it on this core. I don't necessarily know what the mode is. I don't think anyone has really leaked what the mode is, but I'm going to assume it's either going to be a escalation slayer because that's kind of like the star mode right now, right? Or it's going to be the super variant of that one because I believe that mode has been leaked as well. Um, so it's either going to be Escalation Slayer or Super Ex Escalation Slayer, which is the one with the campaign weapon variants and the uh, equipment. Definitely be sweet. I'd prefer it over the regular one since we already sort of experienced that in the unlimited playlist. It's definitely not going to be VIP. VIP got pushed back, I believe, to like another season or something which kind of sucks, but um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what's coming. So there is some lore to this core, of course, and I want to give a shout out to uh, Mr. Rebs or Rebs Gaming here. I don't know where he got this from. I think he got it from the Halo Discord or something because they like show events like the descriptions or something, but I believe this right here is the description for this event, which I thought was pretty interesting. And so it says here in the Firewall universe, humans on Earth were toppled for a time by a failed AI uprising. AI relied on cybernetically augmented humans known as executors who were clad in chimera armor to enforce their will. Executors have some individuality, but AI can control them directly. So that sounds pretty freaking sick. It basically just sounds like a Halo 5 story or where it was headed at least um, before it just pretty much was irrelevant in halo infinite's campaign for the most part i feel like um and yeah of course we got like the event banner here which looks really cool and you can see a guardian in the background um and yeah i mean it just looks sweet i really hope in the future events start to kind of step up a bit and we actually like get to jump into these worlds and they're like actual fractures that you could jump in and experience instead of just like some some lame mode well i wouldn't say it's lame but like instead of just some random mode that you know ties in with this event i'd rather have something that actually kind of relates to the event because escalation slayer like let's say it is ex escalation slayer i don't think i, I mean it just it doesn't feel like anything to do with this event right um but i don't know we'll see if we ever get there at this point i'm just rambling anyways let me know what you guys think about the fracture event the event pass uh you know the lore and stuff what do you think about it let me know 
And with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support. And I really do appreciate it. Peace.